Are you recording this? Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And uh, so today, the market is, man, it's just bleeding left and right. And so yesterday, it was red, and today it was pretty red. Uh, you know, so it is what it is. But let me just go through uh, YouTube here real quick. Just look at the markets. Um, yeah, so the Dow, uh, S&P 500 down 1%, the NASDAQ down 1.65%, and the Russell down almost 1%, 0.99. Uh, and, you know, all pretty much most of my portfolio holding are pretty, pretty uh, horrible. I'm going to go through my watch list here real quick. So you're going to, these are all the fun that I want to buy. I mean, all I see is red. Uh, let me just click on summary. Yeah, all I see is just red across the board. Uh, uh, pretty much every fund that I want to own is red. BYDD, that's uh, BYD, that's the uh, Chinese ultra, uh, ultra company. They're, they're green. BTI, that's the British Tobacco, they're green. Uh, pretty much it. Uh, KF, uh, I think this is the Ketchup, Hein Ketchup. So they up a little bit. Verizon's up a little bit. Uh and then GIS up a little bit. That's the cereal company, uh, you know. Uh, CRT, this is uh, REIT. They're up 0.12. I mean, I'm just a little bit. I, I you know, not even, it's just small. AGNC, 9.51, it went up. But pretty much everything is red, all right? And uh, it's just crazy how such a red day today. All right, let's go look at my portfolio, and uh, we'll talk about, I eventually I'm going to own all these things here. Yeah, I'm going to own all these guys. Just just not not right now, you know. Because right now I'm focused on income. I want to get as much income as I can. And uh and that's that's the name of the game for me, man, just getting income. Well, I want to give you a quick update what's going on. First of all, I'm negative 5%. This is after yesterday was 5%, so it's 5% again. So I'm down a lot. So 85 uh, $1,000 was where I was at two days ago. Now it's 77 So it was almost $10,000 down. Uh, majority of it is sitting is actually in Tess Lee. And, uh, and Clip just went down a little bit. But it's really Tess Lee. It's just mainly Tesla. And Tesla is dropping like flies. So now it's down 3%. Uh, I, did put, I, did buy some, I did buy something today. Uh, just give you an idea. I bought for 183 here, 183 for five shares. So I've been buying pretty much five shares here and there, you know, just keep, you know, um, just keep the price, you know, that's that's what I keep doing. My goal is to get to 100 share and then I can do cover call and I got 30 right now. So I'm on my way to get 7,000, uh, just 70 more share. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm there, you know, just a little bit of time. Maybe by the summer, by the end of the year, I'll get 100 share. Um, the biggest thing in my portfolio is I sold put for the first time, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. Put for $7 because I want to own SoFi. So if this thing dropped to $7 and it, uh, I can exercise it, you know what? I'm going to take it for $7. All right? And I want it. Uh, and then Neil's, uh, my cover calls due on Friday. It's uh, for $6.50. I'm pretty much going to win this one. Um, but I'm gonna buy 60 more share to make it 300. Rivian, Rivian. So I sold put on Rivian too for 1050. It's sitting 1096. I do want it for 1050. So if it's 1050, get another 100 share. Bam! I'm 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 golden. My cover call is 14 dollars, and uh, yeah. So I think I'm gonna win that cover call. I should have played 12 dollars, uh, but I you know I was skittish. I was a little scared. So uh, as a result, I uh, I didn't play it. So I didn't really maximize my money. But that's okay, you know, you can't win everything. But my biggest my biggest thing is really my income. I didn't do much on income, but the, the, the surprise for me is that I'm going to make essentially $7,000 a month. So let me pull up my uh, stock, uh, my, uh, not stock, my, shoot, I just blank out, uh, dividend tracker. Here we go. Oops. All right, so dividend tracker. Right now, I'm showing that I'm getting six thousand dollars a month. Um, this thing need to be updated. So I'm not sure what happened here. How did I screw it all up here? Um, 
Did they update? Did they update the year? Right. Currently, it shows six thousand dollars a month. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what um, why I'm missing a hundred dollar. I didn't sell anything, so I I don't know why I'm missing a hundred dollar. So this is weird. Uh, because you my ULT me ULTY is not in here. And let me just do sort it this way. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's weird. I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe they fix it something. So anyway, because uh, I get six thousand dollars a month, but uh, but SQY pay me uh, sixty five cents, I believe. AIY will pay a dollar, and Coney pay a dollar sixty six, I believe. I'm trying to do this top of my head, and uh, and of course Tesla paid me three thousand uh, three thousand dollars because it gave me eighty cents. Um, essentially. So as a result, I I'm gonna get seven thousand dollar in in this in March, not six thousand, seven thousand dollar. That's three thousand from Tesla, about a thousand dollar to rent the rest of the yield max. Uh, so yeah, so or, or already I'm one thousand gain on this profit. All right, so what I'm gonna do with one thousand dollar? Well, that one thousand dollar, I bought Tesla with it, so I bought one eighty three. Uh, I bought five share for one eighty three. I could have, I should have waited. I wasn't sure. One eighty three was pretty low, you know. And and at the time when I looked at it, it was at the lowest point. And so I jump on it, and I didn't realize it. It's actually went even lower. Just to give you an idea, let's see how low it went today. Um, you know, I don't get a chance to look at the computer all the time. A lot of people can do that. They have a job where they can look at the computer all the time. Uh, unfortunately, I don't. So, and uh, I'm just too busy, you know, looking at. You know, doing stuff, and so as a result, what the heck? I type Tesla and come out AT and T. All right, so Tesla today all time low was uh, day range one hundred seventy seven. So if I just stuck around a little bit, I could have get it for one seventy eight or one seventy nine. But obviously, I got it for one eighty three. You know, as soon as the first opportunity come at one eighty three, I just bought it. And of course, one eighty three is the highest point today, uh, but it was the lowest point for me. At 200, so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm happy 183 because as a result, it bring my cost average down to 199. You gotta understand that when I when I started my Tesla journey, I bought at 242. I've been working my way down to 183. Now my new average is 199. My goal is to get to 100 share of Tesla. Uh, I'm gonna own a lot of Tesla. I mean, my goal is just essentially what happened is when I get twenty thousand dollars a month. You're gonna see me buy a lot of Tesla. I'm just, I'm just gonna flat out buy like a hundred share right off the bat. Bam, you know, uh, and I'm, I'm not even gonna sweat it, you know, because it costs about a hundred share costs about eighteen. About, uh, let me do the calculation. Let's say that I average two hundred dollars. So a hundred share. I already know the math, but I want to make sure that. You know, it's about twenty thousand dollars. So if I get twenty thousand dollars a month, I can literally buy a hundred share right off the bat. And so that's why income fund is so important. I wouldn't be able to do this if I don't have income. Cash flow is so so important. A lot of people tend to you know they tend to discount. They always worry about look. They want to point to obvious. Look like Tesla is down twenty two thousand dollars. Your Tesla is down. You're losing money. I don't give a damn. I literally don't give a damn. Like whoever tell me that I I I I'm at the point where right now I just like screw you guys. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm on my way to make ten thousand dollar and there's nothing stopping. I'm making seven thousand dollar this month because of Coney uh, pay me a dollar sixty six. You know, so I'm making seven thousand dollars a month. That's one thousand of that seven thousand dollar. I just bought Tesla. Guess what? I didn't have to do. I didn't have to do. I didn't have to take money from my paycheck to do that. Matter of fact, I haven't put money in my paycheck. I haven't put I haven't put money from my paycheck into this portfolio since January, since December. I mean, at the end of in January, yeah. I haven't put money into it. It's just it. This is just all my. This is all my dividends. And so, so that yeah. So for people who doesn't know what they're talking about, like I tell you, just screw you guys. It just you you have no. It's not. It's not. You're not important to my life. 
What's important in my life is that my cash flow, my portfolio is generating income. And as long as they're generating income, I'm good. I'm going to be good. good. I have $7,000 to spend. So what am I going to spend on? So I, I still haven't got paid yet. So I put myself in debt 70. Uh, so remember, 60, uh, 70 is my max, my limit. I just spent $1,000 that I haven't got paid yet. So right now I went over, over it. So what happened is tomorrow I'm going to get paid by IWMY. That's a thousand dollar. Bam, going to go right into it. It bring my margin down. So on Friday, on Friday I'm going to get paid five thousand dollars from from uh, from Tesla and uh, from the yield max. Five thousand dollars on Friday. So I just have to wait until Friday to buy it. What I'm going to do is I can I can go to margin and buy whatever I need to buy. Okay. So what am I going to do with uh, so 1,000 is already buying Tesla. What am I going to do with the other fi- uh, 5,000? Uh, well, in order for me to increase my, my, my uh, where's my dividend tracker? Like I said, I'm getting 7,000 every month now at this point forward. So if I want to increase this, I got to buy some income fund and put the money back in. So one of the things I can do is put money in IWMY because they're pretty cheap right now because I'm trying to get that to 1,000 share. Or I can put money into ULTY. So I'm planning to do this with my money. Uh, 2000 of which I'm going to buy uh, ULTY to get 100 share. All right? The other $2,000, I may, uh, I'm just going to take that $2,000 to buy Rivian uh, right here. That's where you see the put here. And you see uh, SoFi put here. They both doesn't come up to be a thousand dollar, but it's two thousand dollar. So the rest of the money, I'm just gonna put by Palantir AI. Keep increasing my uh, my uh, my uh, what you call uh, my stocks. You know, eventually that's how I pay my that's how I pay off my margin. So I put two thousand in here, and eventually get to, to fifteen thousand my common stocks, and keep going growing that. Once I get to seventy thousand dollar, I can just sell all that up my Tesla, and then and then I can just that that will literally reset my margin. It's just zero. All right. So that's one that's one strategy I'm doing it. The the other thing is, like I told you, it's my money. I can do what I want. I'm gonna I'm gonna withdraw two thousand dollar. My girl want me. She wants to take three thousand dollar out. So I was talking to her. I'm gonna take two thousand dollar out. I'm just gonna take two thousand dollar out and gonna go spend. Yeah. I'm just gonna go spend. Don't really care. You know, people make a big deal about buying this. You got you got to put the money back into Tesla. You got to put money back into Clip, QQY. You got to put money all back in. No, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything. Matter of fact, tomorrow uh, on Friday, because it's Friday, I'm going to take $2,000 out. I'm going to take my girl out. We're going to go get some food. I'm going to spend yield max money. So out of the, out of the $5,000... Out of the five thousand dollar, remember I'm getting six thousand dollar this week. This week six thousand dollar, a thousand from Defiance, five thousand dollar just from Yield Max, and the other thousand dollars come from Clip, which is the end of the month. I don't have a third week fund, so that's why I'm going to grow my third week. So when I get, grow my third week, man, that's going to be eight thousand dollars a month. It's growing, it's growing. There's nothing stopping it. So, yeah, did you want to say something? <coughs> Cream, do you want to say something? Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? I'm doing great. All right. Okay. Um, does Does anybody want to say something while uh, Predator? Do you want to say something? O N G F R. Do you want to say something? Hey, Predator. Uh, do, you have, uh, do you have any question for me? You say earlier you want to ask me, something like that. I didn't understand. What did you say? I apologize, my friend. Uh, it's too much noise or something like that? Or? No, I just didn't understand your pronunciation. So w- one more time. Oh, slowly. Sorry. sorry about my English. You know? Yeah, uh, I, I understand. You know, so I'm trying to survive here you know, in the jungle. Uh, but, uh, do you have any question for me? Uh, you say earlier you you want to oh, talk no. or something. 
I, I don't have a question for you, but do you have a question for me? No, no, I think you're doing good. Okay. Uh, I mean, you saying uh, earlier that you want to uh, diversify uh, your portfolio of buying all the year marks. Oh, and, oh, yeah, yeah. You want to know if, yeah, I was talking to yeah. Bill Betts earlier. Uh, so, I, so I just explained that two thousand. I'm going to spend it. What do you do with the other two thousand dollar? Well, yeah, the the remaining two thousand dollar. What I'm going to do is, you notice that my brokerage account right now, I can't see all the other one. The only way to see the other one is I have to go to another website and type it in. Let's say I want to see Disso. I have to type Disso in and look at this way. It's annoying. It's really annoying. So the other thing is. When I download the file, I can download the export and, and turn that into Excel spreadsheet. And that's one thing I like about Charles Schwab. You can turn this into Excel spreadsheet pretty quickly. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to own all of them. I'm just going to buy all of them tomorrow. Tomorrow morning is the X date. I'm going to buy all of them. I'm going to buy MSTR. I'm going to buy NYDY. I'm going to buy pretty much every yield max. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna I own already own Tesla, I already own Coney. I'm gonna buy NVDY. I'm gonna buy OLK again, uh, AMDY, Apple, AMZ. I own SQY. I already own YMAX. I'm gonna buy Facebook, Microsoft, uh, NFly, Google. I already own AY Myrna. Uh, why I already own that? XOMO, PP, MSTY, JPMO. I'm not gonna buy this though. <laughs> That's probably the only one I'm not gonna buy. But ULTY and definitely ULTY. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go and buy every one of them, just one share or two share. That's it. And then what happened is I'm gonna let it grow. I'm gonna let the fund grow. Uh, and then and then you know every time I have free money, it's just like this month. I got I got an extra thousand dollar that is not calculated. Guess what? I'm gonna take that thousand dollar and and continue to increase my portfolio. So th th next week. When curve curve yield max or curve come out and neos, I'm gonna own curve too. I'm gonna own neos. I'm pretty much my my new game plan is I'm gonna go buy at least one or two shares, just one or two share, every income fund, so I can put it in here, so I can track it. It's just I, I the problem is doing my research is it get to a point where it's so annoying. I I have to keep swapping back and forward. I I want it all in one places. It's much easier. And plus when it's red like this. So I'm not going to buy things that's green. So if it's green, I'm going to skip it. If it's red, then I put money in it. So I uh, now I have more choices uh, to do that. And uh, so that's that's really one of my game plan that I want to do. Uh, how much tax do you... Somebody just asked me a question. How much tax do you pay on that $1,000? Uh, that's not how tax work. Wake... Uh, uh, we we up on Tesla other loose money. Is, is are you in Discord right now? We up on Tesla. Are you up in Discord? So you just asked me a question: How much tax do you pay on that one thousand dollar? What one thousand dollar? Oh, the one on Tesla that I just purchased. All right. So taxes. It's it's income tax. It's yeah. No. No, there's no taxes. You just I just bought it. I bought it. There's no taxes. All right. But how all dividend work is 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 all based on your income bracket. So I'm in a very high in income bracket. So I'm already in the 30%. So you just google what income bracket you are. Tax bracket for 2024. 2024. Yeah, 2024. All right, there's your tax bracket, okay? And uh, depend if you're married. So I I just got married. So uh, so I, I was at the thirty percent bracket, okay. But now I can move up to three hundred sixty four thousand dollars. You know, three hundred sixty four thousand dollars for married couple. I'm still paying thirty percent. I'm still paying a lot, but if I you know. Uh, so I'm I'm already paying a pretty high taxes or as it is, and um, so what happened? This income, this income by the end of the year, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw by the end of the year I'm gonna get ten thousand dollars. Now I'm not gonna get one hundred twenty thousand 
for the whole year, I'm building to 120,000. So by December, I should get a, I should get 120,000 a year. So somewhere between 70,000 and 120,000, let's say, let's run, let's even out the number to 90,000. It's 90,000 in addition to my salary and to all my other income. So if you add 90,000 to the tax bracket, I'm already in the 32% tax bracket. If you add 90,000, so it's 182. Um, let me just pull the calculator real quickly. 182. This is for single guys, so but I'm going to go into the married category. That's okay. 182, 100 plus 90,000. What's that? It's contagious. What's that? 182, I'm sorry, I'm, I should have, plus 90,000, 272,000, yeah, so I'm already, I'm already in the 35% tax bracket, so just me alone, by adding my dividends into it, I'm, I'm already in the 35% tax bracket, so that's why I got to take 35% of my money out, so when I said, when I said I'm making, so how I'm going to pay the taxes, I'm just going to take 10, 35% out. Remember, I, I've been talking, I've been telling you guys I'm going to take 30% out, 30% out. Well, if I'm making $6,000, so if I'm making $6,000, I got to take $2,000 out. I'm taking that $2,000 out this month to spend on my girl. But next month in April, I'm going to take, I'm going to take essentially $2,000 out. I'm going to put that, I'm going to pay that IRS directly to get ready to, you know, for next tax season. So that's that's how I'm gonna play it. Did that answer your question, or did did we can uh, we up on Tesla? Did you did I answer your question? All right. Give me a second. Let me switch back. This. All right. If you're talking again, I uh, okay. I I kind of lost my train of thought. I answered the question. I just blank out. Okay. Yeah. My game plan for tomorrow. So my game hey, plan. Uh, yeah. Hey. Yeah. You mind if I ask you a question? Yeah. Sure. Go ahead. Um. When is the uh the what is it that it's not the X A is it when when did they announce the distribution for Tesla and County? They announced it today, this morning at nine o'clock, like eight o'clock. I, I haven't seen anything on it. What is it? Oh, uh, some, some can somebody post it in in Discord real quickly? Well, I, 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 I just looked at Yield Max's site. Didn't even see it. Let me go into Twitter and see if anybody pop up. So I just go to Twitter real quickly if you want to look. I, I'm, I don't have the email change uh, because I didn't put myself I didn't put myself in the distro list. But if you put yourself in the email, then you will you will get it. Uh, you will get that information pretty right up front. And here it is. They just publish it. And and here's all the information. I don't know if you can see it. All right. So uh, Tesla is eighty one cents. So it, before the reverse play, it was 40 cents. Guess what? It's one cent better than before. Yeah, I'm not, it, it is, they promise 50%, so they give it 50%. So that's pretty good. Because otherwise, they're like, well, if they, if they can't get 50%, what are they going to get? Well, take a look at TSLP. TSLP give you 30 cents. I, I know it's not a good comparison, but it's, it's at least a good indication of what happened when you don't if you're not aggressive in the premium in option trading this is what happened when you play it safe when you play it safe tslp is 31 cents but however tslp is 20 dollar stock price in comparison to tesla which is sitting at 17 dollars. so yeah if you play it safe you get 31 cents if you play it not so safe and you go after the income, you'll get 50 cents, but your stock price is going to be $17. So, you know, you know, you can't really win them all. So what you, you got to pick which battle you want to pick. So 
All right, this Tesla paying 81 cents. OLK, OLK and Tesla and Clip were my three first, my first three ETF that I bought. And um, and I'll tell you, I'm I'm very proud of OLK and still chucking along, paying more than 20 cents, so still chucking along. 46 cents. Apple paid 41 cents, which I'm shocked. Normally, Apple, I mean, I was ha I'm happy if Apple break, you know, like, yeah, I'm shocked by that number. NVDY, two dollar and sixty one cents, uh, sixty two cents, two dollar and sixty two cents, ungodly number, ungodly number. That's over a hundred percent. So whoever owned N NVDY, man, you are making a killing. This is why most people. This is why people love yield max. Can you imagine owning a thousand share of NVDY? All right, uh, let's pull the calculator out. If you own a thousand share. I already know the math, but we gotta do it anyway. Two point six two. You're gonna get two thousand six hundred and twenty-two dollar for NVDY. Okay, uh -huh. that's crazy, man. That's that just it's just crazy talk. But uh, MZ pay sixty-four. I'm really shocked by that too. Facebook is a dollar seventeen, uh, which I'm really really shocked. Uh, I thought I actually thought it's gonna be more. Uh, so. Google, 25 cents, which I'm shocked that I thought it was going to be lower. Uh, NFly is 72 cents. Uh, Connie, 1.66. I'm really shocked by this. I thought it was going to be $2 or more, uh, but it came out to be $1.66. So they must have, they must have lose something. I, I haven't watched a retired dividend video in a while, so uh, I wonder what happened there. Microsoft is uh, 0.76. Uh, Disso 0.77. Disso is still chucking along, still doing good. Uh, XOMO 0.27. JPMO 0.49. Just think about it, man. Their lowest, their lowest is 0.25. It's still better than 90% of the fun out there. 99% of the fun out there. That's crazy, man. Uh, JPMO AMD wise 1.37. Not shocked by that at all. Uh, PP 72 cents. I'm very very impressed. I thought it was going to be lower. SQY. This is my disappointment. I thought SQY was going to be at least 70 cents or 80 cents. I can't believe you let Disso beat you. You let Disney beat you. That's that's disappointing. I almost sell SQY. That's how frustrated I was. I was like, you know what? It's time for me to rebalance. I was going to move SQY, which is $23. I was going to move 100 share out and put that into IWMY at $17 easily or into ULTY easily but I decided not to touch it you know so I was like ah you know I'm not going to touch it um I'm just going to leave it alone and uh yeah so I was I was I was kind of like kind of annoyed by it like what the heck SQY why why you give me 65 cents money $1.13 AIYY that's my uh my other uh, uh holding that I got which Pretty good, pay a dollar. I'm very happy with it. MSTY, of course, we don't know what the pay is yet until uh, next month, so we'll find out here. There's gonna be a lot because you gotta combine this month and next month. Uh, they, man, they but they're gonna pay like two dollars, maybe maybe almost three dollars. I bet MSTY will be the first three dollar dividends. This is crazy, man. We're at the point of our life right now where a dollar, anything less than a dollar, is considered like trash. Like, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it trash because it's, it's not good. Because now now people are going to use that word, you know, trash. You know, like, oh, I call it trash. No, no. I hate it when people do that. It, essentially, anything less than a dollar in comparison to everything else, like, man, it's nothing. This is the reason why I want to I sell out of TSLP. TSLP paid me 31 cents. Screw that. I could have taken $3,300 and put that into... IWY or Coney or NVDY or something else. This is why one of the things I always say all the time is that high yield dividends people are, are not passive people. The type of income investment is passive income, but we are not passive people. You need to be an active trader. That's why I monitor every day. I watch it every day. I move things around all the time. I, I just move things around. Because here's a good example, TSLP, 31 cents. Screw that. Take the $3,000 uh, 
And you don't have to sell the whole thing. You can sell 100 share, move 100 share, and put it into IWNY and get you a dollar. Or put move into Coney and put it into, like, like I knew Coney's going to go up. I knew Coney's going to go up last month or two months ago. So what I did, I started beefing up on Coney. I started putting money into Coney. I moved money from other fund and put into Coney's. That's all I did. I just moved. You have to be passive. You got to be actively trading, moving things around. And don't be afraid to move things around. Now, the only thing I wouldn't sell, I wouldn't do is like, here's a good example. I would not touch Tesla. Don't move Tesla around unless you are positive. For me, I'm down 22000 So you don't want to sell that. that that's kind of like you're selling at a loss. And same thing as Clip. So everything else is, everything else you can move around. You know, you can move around and you don't have to worry about it. Like, if I move SQY, I'm up $22. I'm not losing any money. If I sold everything, I made $22. So, I can sell this, move 120 share. No, I don't want to sell out 120 share. I probably sell 100 share and put that into NVDY. And you get a better yield than, than SQY, paying 65 cents. Or put in IWMY, paying you a dollar. Or put in QQY, pay you uh, 80 cents. Which is still better than 65 cents. So being active trader is, is, is just important. Actively moving. Don't, don't, don't be afraid. Uh, you know, that's, it's up to you. you I, I do it all the time. I'm very comfortable doing it. But if you're not comfortable, then don't do it. You know, that's why I say just don't do it if you're not comfortable. So you pick your battle, you pick your poison, and if you're comfortable. Does anybody else a little a little butt hurt? Um, you no, know, I was reading a couple of chat there. Like I think B B Square is like B Square. Are you still? Are you okay now, man? You were a little you're a little triggered by today. B Square, are you are you okay? Paid the piper. Are you good? Yeah, so, sorry about that, Kamir. Yeah, yeah, okay. No, uh, so how was how how was your? Are you are you okay with your portfolio today? Are you talking to me, Pen Piper? Yeah, yeah, you're talking to you. Yep. Oh yeah, I'm good. Yeah, you unmute the mic, so I'm assuming you want to talk. So that's why I. Uh, no, no, I saw, I'm sorry. When I signed in, I guess the mic was just. Yeah. Was just off, so I apologize. But oh, yeah, no yeah, way. All's, All's good, ups and downs, that's the name of the game. It'll yeah, yeah. Man, we've been in this ship, like, we've been selling this ship forever, man. It's like, it's going to go up, it's going to come down, it's going to go up. Wait until Tesla go back to 290, man. <laughs> People are going to be like, oh, I wish I bought at 180. <laughs> well, here it is, it's 180, buy it, you know. Um, but I, I'm going to end, end, end this particular segment with this. High yield dividends... It's not for everybody. It worked for me, and I'm generating cash flow, and a lot of people doesn't understand that. Cash flow. I'm making $7,000 this month in March. I just took the $1,000 and buy Tesla. Remember, I'm, I'm scheduled to make $6,000. I'm scheduled to make $6,000 this month, but because Coney pays so high, I'm making $7,000 a month. So as, as a result, I got an extra $1,000. That is not even scheduled, not even planned. So I just took that money to buy Tesla. I won't be able to do that if I don't have cash flow. You know what I would do? I would use my spending money, my, my purchase money, I'm sorry, my salary money to buy that. I don't have to, I haven't put money into this portfolio since January. And I'm not going to. I, I'm done putting money into this portfolio. So where do I get the money? I got it from the dividends. I'm getting six thousand, and I'm getting seven thousand a month now. That's crazy. It's crazy talk. Uh, so what happened is when on Friday, when everything is paid out, this thing you're gonna you're gonna see seven thousand right here. Yeah, on Friday. So I'm I'm excited. I'm I'm psyched. You know, I'm psyched because Coney pay a dollar sixty six, not a dollar. You know. Uh, and that's almost, I mean, just do, I have 500 share time, $1.66, 830. 
there, there, there's my extra thousand dollar. Remember, I told you, Tesla, Tesla already gave me a th- uh, already gave me three thousand dollar. So, in addition to this, and along with SQY, along with AIYY, that's where I get the thousand dollar from. Yeah, and and uh, and then I just went and bought Tesla with it. So that's this is why we do this thing. This is why all these people hang out on Discord. We're doing it for cash flow. Cash flow. So you don't have to put your hard-earned money into it. Because majority of us are new to investment. And there's a lot of hard-working people. So you don't have to... You can go to work, construction, whatever you do, substitute teacher, work at Walmart, doesn't matter what you do, dishwasher. You get paid from their salary. But guess what? This thing here is replicating your other income salary. You don't have to put money in it. Guess what? This is your retirement plan. This is something you don't have. Those jobs doesn't give you a retirement plan. But guess what? This is a good retirement. You have cash flow. You don't even have to take your money that you work so hard to put in anymore. It takes time. You know, it's, you're know, you not going to get where I'm at right now overnight. It takes time. Take about two, three years to get to this level. It doesn't happen overnight unless you want to do it like me where you're putting 1500 a month. Yeah, if you put 1500 to 2000 a month, you're going to get you're going to get to this portfolio much much faster. But if you only put in a couple hundred or thousand dollars, yeah, it's going to take you a couple years. It's the percentage. It's 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 investment is not short term, it's long term. And and uh hey I'm gonna uh, with that. I wanna leave it for this segment. I'm gonna transition to another segment. I'm gonna stop the recording. Hey, thank you all for watching.